This video explains how to use the Blue Sky Bio Hammerless Sinus Lift Instrument Kit. The kit is very effective and can dramatically reduce perforation of the sinus membrane if the suggested protocol is followed. The kit is simple to use and does not require uncomfortable hammering of the sinus floor or special instruments for a hydraulic lift. A flap is raised to expose the alveolar bone. The height of the sinus floor is measured on an X-ray. The pilot drill is used with a stop that is 2 mm shorter than the measured height. The stop is removed from the pilot drill and placed on the smallest diameter sinus drill. The drill is inserted until the stop touches the crestal bone. A stop that increases the length by 1 mm is placed on the probe and the probe is inserted into the osteotomy. If the stop is above the bone crest and the probe cannot advance sinus floor has not been lifted. The stop is removed from the probe and placed on the sinus drill and the osteotomy is advanced. Again, a stop that increases length by 1 mm is inserted on the probe and if the stop remains above the bone crest and the probe cannot advance, the sinus floor has not been lifted and the procedure is continued. The stop is removed from the probe and placed on the sinus drill and the osteotomy is advanced. The next stop that increases the length by 1 mm is attached to the probe and when the probe advances that the stop touches the crest. This is an indication that the floor of the sinus has been lifted by the previous depth osteotomy. No further depth advancement occurs after that point and the previous size stop is now used to complete the procedure. It is important to use the previous size stop and not to continue with the stop that is currently on the probe. The previous size stop that was used on the last osteotomy is placed on the next larger diameter sinus drill and the drill is advanced until the stop touches the bone. Previous size stop is now used to complete the procedure. The same stop is used for the next larger diameter sinus drill. Again, the same stop is used for the next larger diameter sinus drill. Small granules bone graft material is brought to the site. The previously used stop is attached to the bone packer and the graft material is condensed into the site. It is important that the sinus membrane is lifted by the graft material and not touched by the packing instrument. Depending on the material that was used, it is possible to take an x-ray and evaluate if the lift is adequate for the selected implant size. The final implant drill is used at 50 to 100 rpm and without irrigation, and advanced to 1 mm beyond the sinus floor. It is important not to advance the drill too far into the sinus. The desired implant is placed and the cover screw is inserted. The flap is sutured. Adequate time is allowed for vital bone to generate around the implant.